Um, hi, I'm going to um, do a tutorial on the rejects. Um, so I did that for somebody and uh, it was pretty interesting. So I thought, you know, I'd share, share it with you guys. Um, so basically, um, we want to match every word um, in a string, but not those words which has punctuation mark. So if we have a word, uh, it should match. Uh, if it's a mix word, which means it has letters and it has numbers, it should also match. But if it has non-word characters, for example, uh, exclamation marks uh, uh, in between, for example, so uh, they should not match. But here, um, you can see that they are all actually matching on either side of the uh, exclamation mark because these are non-word characters. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, basically use assertions. So the first thing is that we want to sh make sure that this uh, word starts um, with the letter uh, with a space. <coughs> So for that, uh, we're going to use uh, space assertion. Um, and what else we are going to be, okay, okay, so let's do that, okay. And then we want um, uh, capital letters, small letters, and zero to nine. This is a group, and it can be as many uh, uh, as we want. So uh, it will match every word which has uh, uh, which has letters uh, or uh, numbers in it and then we want to assert uh, that there is an ending uh, space so here uh, what we do is uh, <coughs> make sure it ends with did I write something wrong here okay Okay, so here it actually it, it does the the last assertion that it should end in a space. So here, uh, what uh, we see is that it actually is matching this one, which is correct. It does not match this one, which has a semicolon in it, and it does not matches this one, uh, and it matches this one, this one, this one, and it's, it's all correct. Uh, so one little mistake is that uh, issue is that it does not uh, match the letter. Uh, because it's uh, first uh, in the sentence uh, and it's there's no space uh, before it which is this condition so we're going to add another condition here which is uh, pipe or R and then we want to start with a, a carrot sign so uh, that would denote that uh, it's uh, with the very first it could be the very first uh, word in the sentence uh, likewise here uh, for example this is last word uh, and as you can see it's not being matched because there is no s afterwards so uh, we can use the same logic here and uh, use the impersonal sign so that way uh, it will match the last word so it's pretty neat logic uh, and this way you can actually uh, practice assertions the, the look ahead assertions and uh, look behind assertions so it, it's an excellent way to kind of learn regex as well uh, i hope it helps thank you